We would now like to show you how rosin, fatty acids, and other materials are separated at the tall oil distillation plant. In order to separate rosin, fatty acids, and other materials from crude tall oil, it is necessary to distill it carefully and continuously because each component has a similar range of boiling points. The separation mechanism is outlined in the following flowchart. The distillation plant consists of four columns. The pitch column, the rosin column, the crude fatty acids column, and the fatty acids column. After dehydrating crude tall oil in the dehydrator, the high boiling point pitch is separated from crude tall oil in the pitch column. The depitched crude tall oil is then fed into the rosin column where the rosin is separated. Low volatile components are subsequently removed at the crude fatty acids column. Finally, the depitched crude tall oil is distilled and separated into fatty acids and distilled tall oil in the fatty acids column. This is how crude tall oil is effectively distilled and separated. The distillation mechanism is explained in the following slides. Sieve trays are installed inside the rosin column to distill rosin. Simple distillation is carried out by each sieve tray which is repeated all the way up the column's 30 plus sieve trays. This diagram shows the mechanisms of distillation inside the column. Liquid moves through the sieve trays while overflown liquid goes down to the lower trays through the down comer. At the same time, High temperature vapor comes up through the sieve trays, making contact with the liquid flowing on the upper trays. This is called a vapor-liquid contact where components and heat move simultaneously. Low boiling point components in the liquid evaporate and go up to the higher trays when they come into contact with the vapor and are subsequently heated. High boiling point components remain as liquid and go down to the lower trays. The rosin column separates rosin and fatty acids with this mechanism, which repeats through more than 30 sieve trays. This diagram shows the rosin column. The dehydrated and depitched crude tall oil is fed into the center part of the column. The liquid at the bottom of the column is heated up with the reboiler and returned to the distillation system as high temperature vapor. The low boiling point components then evaporate on each sieve tray, resulting in vapor liquid contact on the upper trays. The low boiling point components subsequently concentrate on the upper trays of the column. Vaporized components in the column contain large amounts of fatty acids, some of which will be cooled down at the condenser and returned to the upper side of the column as a reflux liquid. This distillation is carried out on all sieve trays. Consequently, Fatty acids with a low boiling point will be concentrated in the upper side of the column, while rosin, which has a high boiling point, will be collected and taken out from the bottom. In contrast to petroleum refining, rosin and fatty acids are hard to distill and separate because of their high boiling point and the fact that they readily decompose at high temperatures. In order to decrease the boiling point of rosin and fatty acids, a vacuum system is usually used to distill these components. Superheated steam is also fed into the system to decrease the boiling point. It is necessary to control the pressure and temperature precisely, as rosin and fatty acids have similar boiling points. Instead of sieve trays, the fatty acids column is installed with thin bent metal boards called structured packings designed to facilitate smoother vapor liquid contact. 
Reflux liquid flows down, creating thin layers on the surface of the structured packings while it continuously interacts with steam coming from the lower section, generating vapor liquid contact. Structured packings boast a smaller pressure loss and broader vapor liquid contact area than sieve trays or random packings, making them ideal for separation. Harima MID Incorporated operates the distillation plant as a closed system. Steam used in the distillation column is condensed and then has its oil content removed before being mixed with fresh water, evaporated and sent back to the distillation column to be recirculated. Odorous substances are burnt out by the biomass boiler as part of thoroughgoing environmental measures. We have seen how rosin, fatty acids, and distilled tall oil are produced at the crude tall oil distillation plant. The use of special anti-corrosion stainless steel is another feature that sets this plant apart from other oil refineries. Most of the rosin and fatty acids produced at this plant are sent via pipeline to the adjacent Harima Chemicals plant to be converted into other chemicals. Byproducts such as pitch and low boiling point head recovered at the crude tall oil distillation plant are effectively used as a fuel at the neighboring biomass power plant which satisfies all of Harima's Kakogawa plant and Harima MID Incorporated steam and power needs. Any surplus power generated is sold to a local power company.